Hi everyone, it's Lane of Makeup Unite and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing another road test review for a pressed powder. And this is from Johnson's & Johnson's and it's called the Fresh & Smooth Face Powder. So if you guys are interested to know what my thoughts and initial verdict about this product, then just keep watching. Alright, so as mentioned, gagawa natin ng review itong Johnson's and Johnson's na uh, ano ba talaga? Face powder, fresh and smooth face powder. Ayan, may mga nag-request ito, nagawan ko siya ng review. And to be honest guys, parang if I remember it correctly, na-try ko na to before when I was in college. I just don't remember exactly how it was. Kasi... Before naman, hindi masyado talagang ano yung mga makeup-makeup na yun, no? But I just can't remember if it was really oil control. So, yun talaga yung pinaka-reason ba't ginusto ko siyang itest. Gusto kong malaman kung oil control ba talaga siya. Again, nakuha ko siya sa Watson's for 179 or 180 pesos. I just can't remember. I will just put a clip or a picture here nung kinuwanan ko siya dun sa store ko magkano. Tapos, katabi niya, yung pinaka-refill, uh, I think it was 112 pesos. Um, hindi ko lang talaga uh, matandaan yung exact price. Pero, ayun na nga. Pakita ko dito sa picture. Tapos, dalawa lang ang shades na available. Um, yung white, and then this one, which is beige. Nakalagay dun sa box dito sa ilalim kung ano yung shade niya. Tapos, this compact, ito yung pinaka-compact, guys. This is how it looks like. Ayan. Pink, tapos white yung nasa likod. Meron siyang pasalamin. Ayan. May salamin siya. And then, may kasama din siyang puff. Pero yung puff niya, walang separator dito sa pinaka-powder. Um, so, hindi siya hygienic at all. Pero, ang pinaka-main purpose itong review na to is to test kung talagang oil control siya. Ang kateweight lang ah. Yun talaga yung pinaka purpose nito sa akin para, to be honest, para malaman ko kung oil control ba siya. Pwede ba siyang gamitin ng mga mami sa katulad ko na medyo tight ang budget. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and apply this on my face. Um, by the way, I already prepped my face. Nag-concealer na ako kasi I don't think this is gonna do much of a coverage. Wala naman din siyang sinabing magko-cover siya. So, nag-prep na ako ng face. Nag-ano na ako, nag-base. Hindi ako nag-foundation. Nag-concealer lang ako under yung TIs. Nag-kilay, nag-mascara, and that's it. Kasi, simple-simplihan lang tayo ngayon. Alright, so, let's go ahead and start applying this. Dito muna tayo sa isang side ng face, ha? There you go. So, as expected, wala siyang coverage. So, you can obviously see yung mga imperfections ko sa cheeks. Yung mga dark spots natin dyan. Siguro ako na lang to, no? Uh, preferences ko na lang to. It's just that I feel na kapag diretso mo siyang in-apply using the puff, medyo magkikake siya ng konti, lalo na kapag may base ka. So, uh, I just noticed na medyo na-emphasize na yung aking laugh line dito right off the bat. So, I don't know if that's something you need to consider. Pero siguro, okay din naman siyang gamitan ng brush. Yeah, pretty much you can use a brush to dust off the product on your face. Which I prefer kasi feeling ko pag nilagay ko yung powder using itong puff na to, feeling ko lang medyo magpa-pile up yung product dito sa face ko. Kasi ito, as you can see, hindi talaga siya puff. Or hindi siya foam. Ayan. As you can see, hindi naman siya foam, no? Para siyang tela-tela na ano, texture. So, malalaban at malalaban mo to. Alright. So, what I'm gonna do, I will finish the rest of my face today. Uh, and I'll be wearing this powder just to see kung kaya ba niyang mag-control ng oil. Katulad ng aking oily skin. Ang oras natin, it's 11.11 ng umaga. I will check with you guys from time to time and see kung may progress, may difference ba at all sa ating foundation. Ay, foundation na itong powder. Later na lang ulit ako mag-update sa inyo guys. Update ko lang kayo guys very quick. Um, di pa ako tapos mag-makeup pero eto. 
Um, kumapit naman sa kanya yung aking contour at yung blush. Pero definitely, wala siyang coverage kasi ayan na yung mga ating pimple marks. Yung ating mga sumpa dyan. Kita pa rin siya. Pero at least kahit paano, nakakapit naman sa kanya si blush at si contour which is good. Hi guys! This is just a quick update para dito sa ating powder. It's 3 o'clock in the afternoon, so 4 hours na natin siyang suot. And so far, ito yung ating face. Hindi ko sure kung nakikita nyo na medyo pinagpapawisan ako kasi medyo mainit ngayon at walang bagyo. Tapos na ang bagyo. So, ayan. Uh, pero I don't see myself oily for some reason, so, which is good. So, hmm... This is looking really promising for me, pero we'll see. Very obvious pa yung ating blush, yung ating contour, kita pa rin. So, that's a good sign. I will still be wearing this for a few more hours, and I will get back to you later. Hi, guys! Welcome back, and this is gonna be my final check-in para dito sa powder review na ginagawa natin for Johnson's and Johnson's. It's for... 57 ng hapon and I am impressed guys ngayon ko lang kasi nakita in person yung aking mukha na slightly oily lang siya I mean it's not severe given the fact na hindi tayo nag foundation um, we only had concealer and hindi ko pa nilagay yung concealer all over my face I did just underneath the eyes and this is how it looks I can still see my blush I can still see my contour and everything. I'm impressed with this powder. It's really holding up really well. And ngayon lang talaga ko siya nakita na nagsistart na mag-build ng oil. Kanina nung last check-in ko, halos, halos wala pa. Halos matte pa siya na fresh-fresh ang dating. Lumabas pa ako niya. Nagtapot pa ako ng basura. Nag-ice pa ako ng mga sinampay and oil. And ito na siya guys. I don't see... I'm just simply impressed. So, I know for sure na nag-oil up ako kasi I can see na reflect yung light sa aking face. So, what I'm gonna do, I just grab this tissue and let's see. There. Okay. Obviously, may transfer siya. Yan. Kita niyo naman. And that's expected kasi powder naman siya. Pero, I am impressed with this powder. With that amount of time, ngayon lang ako nakita, nakakita ng pag-shine sa aking face. Alam nyo naman, ako usually 4 hours, sometimes, depende sa foundation, 3 hours pa lang nag-oil up na yung face ko. Ito, 6 hours na ata ang nakalipas, ngayon lang siya nag-oil up. So, what I'm gonna do, I will go ahead and touch up. Tignan natin kung may pagbubuo bang mangyayari sa kanya or okay lang na gamitin yung same powder para mag-touch up. Alright, so naayos ko na ulit yung makeup look natin today. Overall, will I recommend you guys mommies like me with oily skin or girls like me na may oily skin? I think this is really good, lalo na kapag nag-start ka pa lang sa pag-makeup and mommies na ayaw naman magdala ng masa masyadong mahal or masyadong maraming product or makeup na pang patch up. This, this actually works really nice. Uh, but just don't expect too much kasi it doesn't have any coverage at all. So, mm, more of like a touching um, powder lang. Touch up powder lang talaga siya. So, I guess that's it for this review. If you have any questions regarding the product, let me know in the comment section below. All the product information that I can gather related to this powder will also be listed down in the info box. So, make sure to check it out. If you guys are new to this channel and you enjoy watching this kinds of videos, make sure to subscribe and hit that like button para alam po na gustahan yung video na to. But, as always, thank you so much for watching everybody and hope to see you on my next video. Bye!